Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. When Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced their decision to leave their roles as senior royals in January, their passion for the American activism wasn't among their many stated reasons. Even though she couldn't actually speak up when Donald Trump called her nasty, Meghan never went totally silent on the issues she cares most about, like empowering women and combating domestic violence. Earlier this month, Meghan discussed the death of George Floyd and her feelings about systemic racism in a commencement speech she gave to the girls at the high school she herself attended. According to a report in the Daily Mail, Meghan is excited about the role she can play in this moment of American history, and she might even take that energy all the way to elected office. One friend told the newspaper that the Duchess has been talking about the current moment could affect her plans for the future. The source said, Meghan said her work as a leader is more important than ever right now and that she's been speaking with Oprah and other community leaders on how she can be part of the solution. Meghan feels like her mission goes far beyond acting. She said she wants to use her voice for change and hasn't ruled out a career in politics. The sources who spoke to the mail said that pursuing politics isn't the reason she originally wanted to leave the UK after two years spent in the country. But one friend said that she does feel like it's a bit of kismet. The friend said she was feeling annoying urgency to uproot from England, but now feels destined to join in the fight against racism. Lady Colin Campbell, the author of an upcoming biography of Meghan and Harry, thinks Meghan is aiming even higher. She said to the Daily Mail on Sunday, I know the Duchess of Sussex has political ambitions, and I've been told that one day she wants to run for president. Any political career in Meghan's future will likely take some time. Meghan and Harry are still working on their charity behind the scenes. The insider said, they have had the opportunity to speak with some incredible thought leaders, and those conversations have been deeply educational and helpful in identifying the work they want to with Arcawell. They are applying all their learnings to the future of the organization. The insider also denied a report that the couple was facing roadblocks in their attempts to trademark Arcawell. After years of problematic coverage in the tabloids, it makes sense that Meghan might be more motivated to tackle the issue of race in her work. Some of Meghan's friends have said that she felt uncomfortable in the UK because she felt isolated and attacked by the often racist tabloid coverage. Ultimately, the fact that Meghan and Harry have moved so slowly in launching their next venture could be a sign that they didn't have too many expectations about leaving the royal family. They just wanted out. In an interview with the Daily Star, Campbell said that Meghan's discomfort came despite Queen Elizabeth's attempts to make her feel included. She said, The royal family went out of their way to embrace her in a way that they have never gone out of their way to embrace anybody else. Meghan was the only fiancé that was ever asked to Windsor before the wedding, and she was the only newlywed who was invited by the Queen to accompany her on a daily engagement. Campbell added that the Queen does feel a special fondness for Meghan. At the same time, while Meghan is plotting her next move, there are still plenty of headlines that prove she hasn't totally figured out how to escape the daily gossip grind. One racial reckoning hit close to home last week, when influencer Sasha Exeter accused Meghan's friend Jessica Mulroney of insensitive behavior and abusing white privilege. Within days, Mulroney was dropped from her deals with CTV and ABC's Good Morning America, and a report surfaces that Meghan had already wanted to end their friendship. According to the Mail, Meghan doesn't necessarily think that Mulroney is racist, but she does think that Mulroney was in the wrong in her dealings with Exeter. A friend of Meghan's said to the newspaper, Meghan is absolutely mortified that she's been dragged into this complete mess. She said Jessica is in no way a racist, but the way she handled the situation with Exeter 
was tone deaf and heartbreaking. Megan said friends reflect friends, and because of what's at stake, she can no longer be associated with Jessica, at least not in public. She has to do what she has to do in order to preserve her dignity and her own reputation. Finally, there's a bit of chatter about the boundaries of post-royal protocol. On Sunday, sports charity Street Games posted a thank you note that Meghan and Harry sent to thank them for collaborating with Hub Community Kitchen, one of Meghan's favorite charities. While the letter was typed, and not in Meghan's usual perfect script, it came on a letterhead featuring the H and M crown logo that marked their official stationery while they were royals. The letter said, The impact of COVID-19 has been a scary and testing time for so many people from all walks of life all over the world. However, it is difficult times like these that goodwill to others and community spirit prevails. Ultimately, Megan might just be too busy planning an ambitious future to join in the debate with the rest of us. Another report. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle know they will be heavily scrutinized when they visit UK. It's been months since Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, were in England for their final engagement as senior royals. Although they are no longer working on behalf of the Crown, they are still members of the royal family and were invited to visit the Queen at Balmoral Castle this summer. The couple had to postpone one trip to the UK back in May due to the coronavirus, COVID-19 pandemic, and it seems that the ongoing crisis may keep them in Los Angeles for the foreseeable future. When the prince and his wife do decide to return to the UK, it will be huge news, and as one royal expert claimed, they know what will happen. Commentator says they will be scrutinized when they return. The monarch and Prince Philip have been based at Windsor Castle during the lockdown, but Meghan and Harry previously accepted her invite to Balmoral. The Queen and Prince Philip are eager to see their great grandson Archie, who hasn't been in the UK since November, but no one is sure when non-essential travel will be safe for anyone to travel to the Scottish castle. At this point, the Sussexes don't know when they'll be able to visit, or if they even should now. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told The Express. This year the holiday plans of most Britons are up in the air. Those of members of the royal family are also likely to depend on how successful the campaign against the pandemic is, what the guidelines are, and what is considered sensible. Fitzgerald added that the couple realizes they'll be heavily scrutinized by the British media once they do return and don't want to be seen enjoying a vacation, Fitzwilliams said. They will know how closely scrutinized their holidays will be at a time like this. Harry and Meghan had reportedly accepted an invitation from the Queen to visit Balmoral with their son, but this is most unlikely to happen now. What being isolated in Los Angeles has done for the Duke and Duchess? Self-isolating during a month's long lockdown over COVID-19 hasn't been easy on many people including the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. A source told Entertainment Tonight. It's a bit ironic because one of the things that was making Meghan unhappy about living in the UK was that she felt isolated and she missed her friends. But now she's back in the US, which is what she wanted, but is isolated and can't see her friends. The Duchess is reportedly communicating with her pals the same way Harry has been chatting with friends and family across the pond via Zoom calls. The Duke also utilizes a WhatsApp group he has set up with his buddies. The couple has been spending all their time together with Archie, and an insider revealed that this has made their marriage even stronger. Their relationship is stronger than ever, the source said, adding it's been a blessing for the couple not having as many distractions and commitments. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.